Goldfield, Nevada. That is about a three hour drive from the strip near Death Valley. And as Fox 5 photojournalist Cecil Anderson shows us, you could be king for a night at Hard Luck Castle. Definitely, uh, we're in a very remote place here. The desert is a, is a beautiful place, but it's also a place you have to respect and become well prepared. And so we're here at the Hard Luck Castle and Mine, and we're sitting on top of a hundred year old gold and silver mine. And really, we're about an hour away from any real human infrastructure in other cities or even like a small town like Beatty uh, outside of Death Valley National Park. And we're about three hours away from the next major city like Las Vegas. Getting here is an experience. You're already getting on the off-road, you're getting into this vibe of like, wow, we're going on an adventure. And then we find this oasis uh, of, of culture and beauty and art. Uh, there is, it's very picturesque. All right, welcome uh, to Hard Luck Castle. Uh, it is uh, very well built uh, and will withstand the elements out here. Well, this came about as an accident. Uh, I was out here four-wheeling with my son and it came out here at Christmas time just uh, do some exploring and ended up running across the cabin that was on the property and uh, ended up finding out who owned it finally and uh, bought the property. So I went to the building department which found out there isn't one in Esmeralda and they said I could build anything I want and so I uh, ended up building this. It took me a couple years to put the roads and you know, water system in you know, with the water tank and all that. Realized the worst thing you could build with be wood in this desert. So that's why I built it all of cement and concrete and glass and steel. That's the only things that really hold up in the desert, I found out. All right, here we are in the center of the castle. Uh, it's a gorgeous spot that actually is uh, somewhat realistically done in that the uh, staircase winds uh, to its left. And that is uh, in old medieval castles, it was always this way because when you're right-handed and you have a sword, it's really hard to swing a sword as you're walking up. The design I came up with, I don't like square buildings. They're not very nice to look at, they're boxes. So I went with a round for one reason, because it's nice to look at, it's not softer, and, you know, and it's more difficult to build a round building, I found out. It took 10 years, I laid all the block. Well, it started out just as, as a building, and then before we even got the footings poured, people started stopping by wanting to know what we were doing and they started calling it a castle. That's how it ended up getting the name. It wasn't supposed to be a castle, it was just supposed to be a home. Just an incredible spot having this view. There's no one else around here. You have this entire valley to yourself. It's not a doomsday, it's just a place to get away and relax and privacy and quietness. What we're trying to build here is kind of an oasis in the desert where you have all your creature comforts, uh, but it is, we are surrounded by a very beautiful high desert uh, of Death Valley National Park and surrounding areas in BLM land. All right, here we are going to the very top of the castle. All right, during the day it gets quite hot in here because we are a bit of in a greenhouse. Uh, in the winter it's very nice and warm, and as you can see you have all glass all around us. I hate cities, and if I, when I leave here, I'm going to a real small town. Well, the reason I've let it go is two or three reasons. One, the taxes, and my kids don't want it, and so I just thought, well, let it go to somebody who wants to keep it going. That was the point. He's ready to uh, give the baton to someone else to try to continue growing it and making it nicer and uh, making it into an Airbnb so many people can kind of experience this unique place. An Airbnb, the home also includes a game room, a wine cellar, and even a planetarium.